Hi, hello, and uh, welcome again, Oliver here, or also Micro Punter, if you will. Um, today I visited a museum, and there they had a, a, an exhibition on snails. Uh, it was quite interesting. Uh, they displayed uh, quite a lot of uh, different. Uh, uh, they had a pretty large connection, collection of snail shells uh, there and uh, they also had a stereo microscope there um, and I had a slightly closer look at the stereo microscope and they also had microscopic snails uh, that uh, viewers and visitors uh, could watch um, and I simply wanted to show you basically yeah, this stereo microscope because it's actually a pretty good one. Um, and uh, later on in the video, I'm also gonna show you a little bit um, about uh, some of the other parts of the exhibition, but I'll do the microscope first and then you can uh, quit the film. I hope that you're not gonna do that uh, in any case, uh, but uh, if you're not interested in snails so much. Okay, uh, so that's basically what I'll be doing. It was an Olympus SZ61 microscope. Um, and um, uh, one of the things that uh, I immediately noticed is that it had huge, eyepieces okay they were non-removable I saw um, but they had uh, quite a large eye relief as well and this means that uh, and it was easy for me to look uh, through the microscope uh, using my glasses on and the second thing I realized is that the microscope uh, had a so-called zoom functionality um, so by turning a knob you could uh, easily zoom in and out uh, and uh, this also gave a very nice um, impression fortunately the focus was locked so that visitors cannot accidentally defocus the microscope a little bit unfortunate uh, but still uh, yeah. um, so I basically I spent a little bit of time simply exploring uh, snails using this microscope and also spend some time actually exploring the microscope itself so I'm just going to show you some of the features that I found well uh, this is the microscope um, a stereo microscope as I already mentioned with a zoom function here I'm turning uh, the zoom knob right now and uh, one of the most interesting things was the LED ring light that they mounted uh, under the objective. It's actually the first time for me to see such uh, a ring light uh, and you can also see the two objectives. And, and there is also a little uh, lever that you could move in and out and this one is responsible for redirecting the light to the photo tube. Um, but of course there was no camera attached here. So uh, the eyepieces uh, basically magnified 10 times and then you can see 4.5 uh, times 10 is a maximum magnification of 45 and it went all the way down to um, about a magnification of six times. So I'm simply zooming in and out right now. The, um, also the distances between the eyepieces uh, could be adjusted like this. I've never seen a system that worked like this uh, uh, because uh, it was like this that normally uh, the eyepieces uh, can be moved horizontally, in this case not. Well, this here is a C-mount. It seems to be at least a C-mount. Uh, and uh, here you can actually see me now observing uh, and the, the, it was quite comfortable actually the big eyepieces make observation quite easy and um, easily possible um, and as already mentioned uh, the large eye relief allowed me to keep my glasses on um, so it was actually quite uh, a comfortable viewing possible yeah and uh, here are the specimens that you simply could rotate it's a little bit overexposed right now but here are the, the different snails that were basically placed uh, beneath uh, objectives for the viewers to actually uh, watch them and I simply took some photographs uh, um, of different types of snails and um, yeah I'm just gonna show them to you right now um, you can see that the image quality is quite good um, and I think uh, it kind of shows uh, that uh, quality microscopes indeed are uh, quite uh, a good investment I, I really enjoyed uh, watching those microscopic specimens here well uh, in any case uh, it's like uh, this uh, that uh, I continued uh, the exhibition and I also watched uh, other parts of the exhibition so I'm going to continue now uh, with a non microscopy related part I hope that you're all interested and they had very nice uh, snails uh, of all different kinds and I heard that actually as a matter of fact uh, they have the second largest collection and these are also small snails uh, historic snails that were collected many years ago looks like almost like in the 19th uh, century um, and uh, it kind of is fascinating uh, to also observe uh, these uh, uh, specimens here to see how science was actually done many years ago. Yeah. So here as well, so they had a whole collection of antique uh, snail collections and also of, of modern ones. Um, and uh, yeah, there's uh, quite a lot of scientific study was involved here. Um, and they also of course had specimens that uh, the visitors of the museum could touch and, and, uh, and have a close look at. And, uh, 
Here, these, for example, these snails uh, sh uh, showed uh, repair, okay? So they had a damaged shell and the snail actually repaired the shell. Also quite interesting, never thought about that either. And um, most snails only turn in one direction, but I read that one of 10,000 of them, like the one over here, um, turns into the other direction. And uh, this was basically a search game where the viewers of the museum, the visitors actually had to uh, look for the three snails that were turned, uh, they turned uh, their shell into the other direction. Of course, they also had some snails that you could eat here. I la later was informed uh, that these snails actually came out of a uh, yeah, tin can, so they were already cooked. I did not taste it, I have to admit. And of course, they also, for, especially for the children, they also had a gigantic live snail um, that uh, the kids uh, could look at. So, And uh, also here, a model of a snail uh, race competition. I didn't know that this existed and also some coins with snails on them. So basically um, it also talked about the cultural value and history of snails. Okay, so that's it again. Um, as you can see, stereo microscopes also pretty cool devices, obviously. Um, and uh, wish you a nice day. Happy micro hunting as always. Bye-bye. <laughs>